Hi there. Most of the graphics that we will use in After Effects will come mainly from a graphic design program such as Illustrator. Now this video is to show you how to set up and organize your Illustrator file or your illustrations so you can import them into After Effects. You need to know a few tricks in Illustrator to set up your graphics in Illustrator to be brought into After Effects. Let's go to Illustrator now and look at the graphics. Now, this is a graphic that has been designed by a graphic designer. You want to arrange it so it goes into After Effects and you start animating. There is only one thing that you're concerned about. Anything you want to animate should be a top layer in Illustrator. When it's a top layer in Illustrator, then it will become a layer in After Effects. What's a top layer? You notice here, you always start with a layer in Illustrator. And under this layer, you might put some groups. You grouped your graphics in a certain way. So if I import this graphic into After Effects, I will have a single layer here. There are certain elements here that I would like to animate. For example, the character over here, I'm going to put it on and off. Okay. I want to animate this character here. So I have to set it as a top layer in Illustrator to come over in After Effects as a layer. How do I do that in Illustrator? It is very easy. Actually, you don't have to know even Illustrator to be able to do that. Notice we are in the Layers panel here. If you can't see it, just come to Window and this is Layers. You check it and that's it. I will select the group, just clicking on the circle here. It's selected completely. And all I have to do is to come to the menu over here, click on it. This is the three bar menu and select Collect in New Layer. So now, this character has become a layer. You can see it also, the name is layer two. But still, if I import it to After Effects, it will not show. Only main layer will show. So I have to make it a top layer, meaning take it out of any other layer. So now it's a layer on its own or standing on its own. Now, when you import it in After Effects, you will have layer two and main layer. Something very important, take the habit of renaming the layers. If they go to After Effects layer one, two, three, four, five, you are going to have a hard time. So here I'm going to rename it. Actually, I do the renaming at the end. Now you have the flower pot here. Okay. That we can animate in After Effects. Select it, three bars and collect in new layer. As simple as this. Don't forget, you need to put it on top. Okay. So now we have three top layers. There is here the board. It's all the board here. Really, I don't want to animate the whole board as a single item here. I want to be able to animate the pier, the robot, so on, the stop and the start and the arrow and the board itself. How am I going to do that? Let's go into this group here. Okay, let's swell up all the other groups. So if you notice in this group, you have the arrow and the stop, the robot and these guys and the start here. And you have these three that are the board itself. So the way I'm going to do it, I'm going to take each one of them and drop it inside the same group. So I'm going to actually group them. Okay, we're working on the same group here as simple as this. They might not come in the right order here. No problem. You can just adjust them. I think I'm doing the right thing here. And this is the bar and so on. If I put it all off this group, I still have the background, which is over here. I'm going to click and drag and drop it here. So now I have this group. I'm going to take it and put it under all the items. You notice here, this group now has all these groups that I would like to make them a layer. The best way to go about it is not one by one. You select the top group here. You go to the menu and you say release two layers by sequence. So notice what happened. You have now layer four. It has all the other layers. And these are all the other layers that we want to animate. All I have to do now, click and take them above. So now I have very nice layers and layer four is empty. Okay. Maybe we'll delete it later. You have a group here, which is the floor. If you want to animate it, very nice. Let's animate the floor and we collect it in a new layer. Take this layer and put it under layer 10. I guess so. Now we have these gears here actually three gears here. So we have these three groups. In fact, 
That's not what we want. We want to put them in one group. Now there are three groups. I will select them and go back and say release two layers sequence. So here I have three layers and then I put them under this guy. Notice the main layer is getting empty now. Now we have all these layers behind. I'm not interested in animating in each one of them. I just want a single animation for all of them. It's kind of background. So what I will do here, I have the main layer. I'm going to rename it background and actually delete these two as simple as this. So now I have a single layer called background, which is okay for all this. Now, something else I noticed. If you come select this group, you notice that it's coming with its border, this border here, this box, which I don't want. I prefer to create this one in After Effects. The way to do it is just to put it off. There is no need to delete it. Maybe you'll come back here and do the right work here. You want it to appear, for example. And then I'm come to this guy also. I don't want this. I'm going to put it off. But when it comes to the apple here, I want it to really have this and animate it. I have two choices here. I can leave it in Illustrator, make it a layer, or recreate it because it's just a simple shape here with round corner in After Effects. In our case, what I'm going to do is take it and make it a layer. Okay, collect in a new layer. And that will be something like box. Why? I want to use it as a reference in After Effects. So I know what is the size of this box. I didn't mess up the illustration itself. So now we're ready. And the most important thing that you have to do is to rename these layers. Please, guys, if you don't, then you are in a lot of trouble in After Effects. What is layer six? You know, you're not going to see these icons. Let's rename them. That is top. And I will go ahead very speedy. Having renamed all the layers, I'm going to save my file. I will go save as and give it a nice name. I'm going to use operating dash one. Of course, I'm using Illustrator now and click on save. Now over here, it says Illustrator 2020. You can save it as legacy so you can export it or give it to other people and so on. But don't do that. Okay, sometimes some things will disappear from here. So I'm going to use Illustrator 2020 and click OK. My file is saved. From here, you are set. You go to After Effects. In After Effects, obviously, you come to the project panel. You can right click, go to Import File, and you select the file that we have been working on. And make sure that you import as Composition Retain Layer Sizes. It means it's going to create a composition from all the layers, and it's going to retain the layer sizes as per Illustrator. If you select only composition, all the layers imported from Illustrator will have the size of the composition that has been created. And it's not very practical to work with this. Sometimes it is, but most of the time it's not. So choose composition, retain layer sizes. You can check create composition and make sure not to check the Illustrator PDF EPS sequence. It will create something completely different that's used for some very different things. And you click open. And here you are. If you open the composition by double clicking, you have the layers here as per Illustrator. And you're wondering about the black. Well, After Effects composition is by default black background. In Illustrator, it was white background. So actually, we didn't have a background. We just created a background here for the gears and some flowers and so on. So you will need most probably new solid layer. And you create a nice solid layer here, put it on bottom. And here you are. You can start animating exactly like you have decided in Illustrator. Please, guys, subscribe to my channel and uh, give me some thumbs up. I need them. And I promise you, you will always get some awesome animations just to up your skills in After Effects, in motion design, and in motion graphics and visual effects.